Say, I love Noah. <laughs> Tell Johnny. Huh? <laughs> Say, I'm still a little bit jealous you ready to of go? my mom. Why, well, yeah? Are Say, you I'm jealous? Still just a little bit of jealous. No. Just a little bit jealous. No. And you can take. We just put that bib on him to keep him from yeah. spitting up in the car. You can take it off when you get to church. Well, then he's got another clean bib. Ready? Bye. Bye. That'll work. All right, Noah is on his way to church. Also, I'm going to make a better effort not to start every single time I start a video with the word all right. I just did it again, and I noticed that when I edit, and it irritates me really bad. I'm going to make a better effort to not do that. But I'm going to fix Tracy some a cereal. I made some cereal too, not 100% sure. And we're going to hang out for a bit while he's at church, probably uh, probably chill and rest a little bit, although Tracy probably needs a little more rest than I do because she got up with Noah last night because apparently I did not. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And today's WrestleMania Day, so that's super awesome. What's up guys? I figured I would start this video by talking about, I wanted to do a channel update and the reason is I haven't done one of these in a long time. I have a lot of new viewers since the last channel update, like a lot of new subscribers, even a lot of new subscribers in the last two, two weeks to a month or so. So I wanted to talk about a few things just to get you familiar with what's going on and just to update you on kind of what's happening on the channel. Now don't be too afraid, not much is changing, I'm not stopping daily vlogging or anything like that, so don't worry about that, but I just wanted to make this update. Number one, daily vlogs. That's what this channel is, that this channel's gonna stay. I know that I'm doing live streams and stuff like that, but no, this channel will never turn into a gaming channel or anything like that. This channel is a daily vlog channel. Now if something crazy happened and I gained like 100,000 subscribers over one night of live streaming and they were like, you have to do games, I would probably consider it. But vlogging is my passion, I love filmmaking, that's what I want to do, and that's what it is. The schedule for those are going to remain the same, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m., every single morning, Eastern Standard Time. Saturday and Sunday should be up by 9, but it depends on how late I'm up that night. If I'm up late, I'll edit them in the following morning, and they'll still be up that day. Daily vlogs are going nowhere. Every single day, you can look forward to a new vlog from me. It's not stopping. If I can upload a daily video, even if it's just a small update while in the hospital while my wife's giving birth, I'm not going to stop, okay? Number two, live streams. Are live streams stopping? You haven't live streamed in two weeks. What's happening? Live streams aren't stopping. The last two weeks have been super, super busy for me. Um, the two weekends, I should say. I can't stream during the week because I have a regular job. YouTube is not my job. So I can't really stream during the week because I have... Uh, I get off around 5 and I usually get home about 5.30 by the time I eat. Um, I can't really do anything else besides worry about filming the vlog and then I have to you know, spend time with my son and stuff like that. And then I have to edit and there's no time to do it during the week unless I do it on a Friday. And Fridays are where I'm going to have a lot of my vlogs or, or a lot of my live streams. Um, soon, every Friday will probably become a standard. Um, I'm finishing up a campaign in D&D right now and then uh, I'm going to work on seeing if I can get a set schedule for streaming. But... Right now, there's not a set schedule, but just know live streams aren't stopping. Next week, this coming weekend, there will be a stream. There will be a stream. I tried to stream this weekend, but it just didn't work. Um, Friday, I had a D&D game, which I had a blast playing. I love playing it. I love the guys that I play it with. They're super awesome. Um, and then Saturday, which was yesterday, I wanted to stream during the day, but just a lot of stuff kept happening. And then the Final Four started, and then NXT had a pay-per-view, so I watched that. Um... Because, you know, I wanted to watch that. So, And then today is WrestleMania Day, man. I was going to stream around 1 today, but I just can't find the time to do it. Me and Tracy, our washing machine is broken, so we're having to go to her parents' house to do our laundry because um, we're getting ready to buy a washing machine because ours just broke. And uh, it's just not working out with the stream this week. But next week, next week there will be a stream. So I know a lot of you guys have come over from the stream. Um, people, uh, I know Murpaderp loves the streams. I know um, it's a username, JM and Tiff love the streams. There's a lot of people that love the streams. Adrian uh, Navarro loves the streams. 
They're coming back. I just bear with me for just these last two weeks and this coming week it will be back to normal, okay? Deal? Weight loss updates. Weight loss updates are going to continue to happen um, just because it's a part of my life and it's a way for me to keep accountable. If you hate the weight loss stuff, it's not going to be just overbearing. I'm not going to do it in every single video. I'll probably remain the same. We're on Tuesdays, which will be a Wednesday upload for you guys. I'll at least acknowledge how much weight I lost during the week. And that'll be about it. Just a way to keep myself accountable because I've had a lot of people message me that they really love that stuff. And then also I know I get dislikes on videos with that stuff. So, you know, I'm trying to find a balance. And, I, you know, people can dislike and stuff like that. I mean, this is my life and I do what I, you know, what I need to do for me. Um, but it's something that's going to stay in here in a small part. And plus, maybe I can motivate someone else to get healthier as well. I don't care how you do it. I'm not, this isn't about you need to be vegetarian or you don't because I don't care what you do. Find what works for you and do it. But weight loss stuff is going to stay in the vlog, um, especially until I can get healthy, until I'm accountable for myself and stuff like that. Right now, this is a way to stay accountable. Number four, vacations, travel, stuff like that. We've got a lot of awesome stuff planned this year. We're going to Pigeon Forge. We're going to a Harry Potter festival in Roanoke, which will be super awesome to vlog. This coming weekend, maybe, kind of depending on our money situation, we may be going to a chocolate festival, just because why not, man? That sounds super awesome. Um, I also have another kind of surprise trip, and it's, I'm not saying what it is just yet because I'm still working out the details, but I may be leaving the country for a little bit, and that'll be a cool vlog as well. So, yeah, we got a ton of stuff planned this year. It's going to be awesome. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep doing awesome stuff. So, yeah. And I think that just about covers it. So I just wanted to update. If you guys have any questions about anything I just said, leave them in the comments below or follow me on social media. Send me a message, whatever. My Twitter is in the link below. Actually, I'll put them all here. Here's my Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, any of that stuff. If you want to shout at me, holler at me, send me a message, whatever, do that. If you have any questions or leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Just got out of the shower. Me and Tracy are going to run and eat here in just a little bit. We're trying to figure out where we want to eat. You got Portobello's, but I was thinking too, you could, we could go to Bob Evans, we could go to like Cracker Barrel, as long as we hit these places before like church lets out. Um, Chili's. I could probably do Chili's. Applebee's. I'd probably rather not do Applebee's of any of them, but whatever you want. What do you want? Figure it out. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, and then obviously you guys will probably see, so... Dinner was fantastic, or I guess lunch was fantastic. I don't know what you call it. It's like two o'clock, so kind of that midday lunch and dinner. Super good, man. I got a couple cheese burritos. Tracy got something. We both enjoyed our food. Good. Now we've got to go. Got to go pick up Noah. I'm in my mom's car right now. That's why my car looks different. She took my car because her car doesn't have the latches for the car seat. So I'm gonna take her car to her. Get Noah. Go to the house. Hang out. WrestleMania day. I'm still, I'm getting more pumped the closer it gets to it. Did you enjoy your food? Yes. How much? No. Good, good. Me and Tracy are gonna start walking at like, my battery dying? No. Uh, me and Tracy are gonna start walking at the track. Uh, I've been running kind of out by my house, but like, we're gonna start walking. So we're actually gonna test and see if this stroller will hold him well. You ready, buddy? It will hold him. The issue is whether or not his head yes. wobbles too much. Yes, his head will bobble. That's what we're trying to check out. Alright buddy, let's see if you fit in here. Do that. And then... It's so tight. Something's not right. How does it feel? Hold that. Thank you, Bill Kramer. What do you think, buddy? You if his head falls forward, I can do this. Well, and you can also put that thing down. It's got like a visor. 
This? Yeah, but no. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean all the way. Boo. Round two. You ready for this one, buddy? Let's see how this one fits. Uh. Oh, goodness. It's tough sitting down and being, I think that other one. <laughs> Sit back. Ugh, there we go. That's uh, That stroller seems like for maybe when you get a little older. And you can hold yourself up better. Oh, I know, I agree. Alright guys, and I'm actually going to end the vlog here simply because... Um, it's Wrestlemania day. It's getting close. It's, we're about an hour away from Wrestlemania. I want to edit this video and get it done because I have to get up and go to work tomorrow. I know that might be disappointing because you may want to hear me talk about Wrestlemania or you may not. But um, it's just easier for me to edit it now and I want to pay attention to Wrestlemania. So I am going to end the vlog. Question comment of the day which goes to... Actually I'm going to do two. and uh, One's going to be real quick and then one's going to be like more of a question. But I really like... Uh, there's two comments that I really really like here. One is from Josh Kaiser which is an awesome video today. Glad to see you're incorporating some exercise with your diet. And for a question, are there any upcoming shows or movies that you're excited for and if so, why? Absolutely. I'm really really pumped for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Um, I'm not huge into comic book movies simply because I feel like it's just so watered down now. Like, every single weekend, I feel like there's a new comic book movie coming out, and the fact that we're on, like, the 25th sequel of something, just, it kind of gets repetitive to me. I don't hate them, so don't, don't be, don't think that I'm saying that. I'm not. I, I know that's going to offend a lot of people, me saying I'm not a huge fan of comic book movies, but I just, I'm getting tired of them, I think, is honestly the main thing. Like, that's just what I feel all Hollywood is now, is just nothing but comic book movies. But, Guardians of the Galaxy looks super awesome to me. I'm a huge huge, huge James Gunn fan. I think he's one of the greatest directors out there. Um, I love his work, man. I was a huge fan of Super, and then one of my favorite movies that he ever did, which was when he worked for Troma, which was Tromeo and Juliet. I think the guy is awesome, and what I love about Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is it feels like a B-horror film as a superhero film, so it has a different feel from every other superhero movie ever made, and I really, really love that. So yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I'm pumped for. Next comment that I'm reading uh, is from Keiji. Keiji? Not sure how you pronounce that. But uh, yesterday I talked about my hair being super messed up, and they said, I kind of like it. You look like a very domesticated and majestic Sasquatch. And then Brandon Friesen responded and said, The domesticated Sasquatch. Can I petition for the new channel? This to be the new channel name. Uh, that's hilarious to me. Like, that's super funny. Maybe I'll get some shirts made. For me to wear that just has like kind of my face with the like when my hair is like down and stuff and like super shaggy in my beard and i'll just have it say you know jonathan seabolt the domesticated sasquatch i don't know why that just that that was too good of a comment to pass up like i wanted to answer the question from josh um but i thought that was such a good comment i couldn't pass on that that's hilarious to me and i love that quick thing real quick quick thing real quick something real quick um WrestleMania predictions, I said that I wasn't really going to do them, but I am going to try to make a couple real quick of just what I know is going on. Um, I think that John Cena and his lady, Nikki Bella, I think they'll beat The Miz simply because it's John Cena. I unfortunately predict that Roman Reigns will beat The Undertaker, which is just absolutely tragic. I think that... You know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Bray is going to retain the title. I don't think... I think Bray is going to retain the title over Randy Orton. And uh, hopefully that can set up something cool for Bray in the future. Possibly uh, the Wyatts get involved to help him retain. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to call Bray retaining the title. That's at least what I hope. Owens going over Jericho for sure. What else is even happening on this freaking show? I'm going to say, here's my gut. In I think Brock will win the title, but my gut instinct is telling me that Goldberg is going to win and retire as champ, which I will just, ugh, all over. But that seems like something that could happen. And I think that Seth Rollins will beat Triple H, and I also think that will be match of the night. I think that's going to be the best match, because even at 47 years old, Hunter can still wrestle. He can still work around almost anybody, and... I don't know. I gotta love it. And I think these two, I think they're gonna tear the house down. I think it's gonna be amazing. So those are a couple of quick WrestleMania predictions. I will talk more about WrestleMania tomorrow, but again, I want to get this video edited and everything done so I can just chill and watch WrestleMania. Again, as soon as YouTube becomes my full-time job, I don't mind staying up and recording stuff after, but just really, really hard right now because it probably won't even go off until 11 or 11.30. 
then I would have to edit, and then I would have to export, and I wouldn't be in bed until 2 o'clock, and I gotta be up at 7 in the morning, so this is how we're gonna do that. No, you guys understand, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Man, I, what is wrong with me? I'm like high strung. What am I doing? Do you hear me talking over here? So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you want to do a question, comment of the day, just leave a comment, and I'll check that out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow.